So welcome back, you join me on another episode of this RS Turbo. Um, what we're doing today is we're gonna get rid of the contaminants out of the paintwork. Obviously, from a distance, the car looks good. Uh, it even looks like it's got a bit of a shine on it. It's had a clean, but I can tell you it's not. So if you look up close to it, it's like sandpaper. Obviously, the car's had a lot of fabrication, so there's a lot of metal swath that's got up in the air and into the paint. Uh, you can see all, all up in here. Uh, so we're gonna use a K-bar to get rid of that. Um, to start off with, I'm going to tell you I'm no detailer, but I can clean a car and I've uh, cleaned a lot of cars in my time. Um, but this is going to be professionally detailed at some point. I just want to do the hard labour work at the minute, get the paintwork to a reasonable standard so the detailer doesn't have such a hard time getting it back up to a uh, show condition. Although it's not a show car, uh, the paintwork is very good on it. It actually had a respray at some point. It's very straight, you can see along here. Obviously, ignore this 88 spec bumper, it's nasty, but it's just on there temporarily at the minute until we get the 90 spec one painted. So let's get going. So the clay bar we're gonna use is this built Hamba auto clay. This is a medium clay, so it's quite harsh, but it's gonna get rid of any contaminants out of the paint. Um, what we're gonna use is probably an auto finesse. I mean, I've got tons and tons of products. I've got shelves and bags full of products. Um, Obviously, the car's had a wash already, so I'll probably use this uh, Glide clay lube at first. Obviously, we're going to go over it as well with uh, this iron out. So you see me using that when I washed the car in a couple of episodes ago, and that's brilliant stuff. It reacts to the iron in the paint and breaks it down. Uh, then, obviously, after that, we're going to give the car, obviously, a, a polish and a wax. Uh, so we've got a, a DA polisher. With some, we've got a load of different pads, load of different cloths, polishing applicators. Uh, we're going to probably use, I don't know what wax we're going to use yet. I'll dig through and see which ones. So I just went over this wing and this uh, part of the door with the clay bar and it's got rid of a ton of the metal already. You can see all the nasty contaminants coming out. Give that a wipe off. But once the, uh, the paint is like glass as it is now, um, you can still see that in the paint there's like, uh, like a dull finish obviously where it's just not been polished for so long. Uh, this is gonna be compounded back with the DA polisher. Um, but first of all, I just wanna get all the uh, nasty stuff out of the paint and uh, get the paint to uh, a reasonable base before we do that so you can see the difference between if I take that off and you can see this is the bit that's got rid of all the contaminants in it and you can move along here and you can see how nasty that is still so you can see how much it's getting out of it so it's uh, actually like glass now still obviously a bit dirty um, but you can see if you move along how nasty the paint is along here that ain't been done. So we've got to do the whole car now. It's obviously going to take a while to do. Um, and then we can compound it. So I'm going to quickly show you how good this uh, clay lube and clay bar is. You can see the nasty metal that's in the paint. So give a bit of lube. And you can see how quickly this removes that nasty iron that's all stuck in the paint. Obviously, it's better to remove that window seal to get up in the nasty corners, but just give you a quick glimpse of what it looks like. So, the wipe, you can see how quickly that gets rid of that iron out of the paint. So if you've got any grinding iron that's got out of the paint from the metal that you've been cutting, it's easy to remove, don't be scared of it. Literally as quick as that. So obviously a couple more passes that make it even better. Obviously removing this bit of rubber so I can get up to this top part. And you can see down here where that iron is still in the paint and where I've just literally went over it with a couple of swipes of the clay bar. So I've just pulled out the uh, DA polish up. This is just a Halfords one. It's about 85 quid, comes with some pads and a carrier case or whatever. Um, so I've just went over that little section there. I just want to show you what the paint looks like before I've done it. So you can see how nasty that is. Obviously it's like, um, got like water marks in it and uh, 
like dirty paint it's just uh, not white at all i've literally spent 30 seconds on this section here and you can see that's just compound that is that's no polish or wax and you see how much better that looks so i'll pull it back to the part that's not been done and you can see that section there that's the part that hasn't been done and then you go along here and i've spent like 30 seconds on that with a da and there's some compound so you can see how nice the paint's going to come off and that's no wax or polish or any sealant or anything on that yet so i just went over the uh wing and the bonnet with the compound with the hard pad and i just wanted to show you the difference i taped it up so you can see it a bit better so yeah that's the difference there between the two paints now obviously from a distance it does look white but it's not see how nasty that is so there's the difference there see it's not the actual dirt it's the actual paint itself so it's going to be a lot whiter you can see right there the difference in the line you see how dirty it is in the paint so when you uh, get that back to bright white, get some wax polish on it as well, it's gonna look uh, a lot better. So look from a distance, it still looks white. So you get up close and you compare the two, nasty. So I just went over the wing and the bonnet with the compound, with the hard pad, obviously just uh, some Meguiar's compound, quickly wiped it down and went over a bit of a clay bar first. Um, just to show you the difference now from a distance the car looks white but you see the difference between the paints now so i've obviously taped it up so you can see a clear line that's not just dirt that is actually the paint itself and you see how dirty the paint is compared to how nice and bright it is when it's compounded up this is with no wax no polish so you can see how nice the car's going to look so i also just pulled off the wing mirror obviously I've, i can't be bothered to disconnect it all in the doors and in the wings so just strapped it up got to this bit here clay barred it but you can see here it's got a bit of uh, i don't know if it's overspray or something i'm just going to compound that back you can't see it when the wing mirror is on so this rear quarter hasn't been even clay barred or anything yet obviously the car's just been washed so i wanted to show you proper close-ups before we finish so this is all the nasty contaminants that are in the paint you can see that's obviously just rust in there that's going to all be gone you can see there's a few light scratch marks there um some markings just from storage and being in the garage so this rear quarter here is what we're going to focus on and we're going to get this up into a, a very 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 good finish similar to how this wing is you see how much better that wing is so that's how you want to do it that's why it's so deceiving when you see pictures on Instagram or Facebook. Like you look at this car from a distance, and it looks lovely and white, but we all know it ain't now when you see the close up pictures. So um, yeah, let's get clay bar in that quarter. So that door and that quarter has been clay barred now. You can see how much better it is. If you look closely up against the paint, it's uh, obviously just the dust and dirt that's uh, flicked off. But even though it's clay barred, it obviously clay bar only gets off metallics and uh, grit and all sorts. There's uh, adhesive, uh, tar, all sorts of stuff. Now to remove that, what I like to use is this Auto Glim Intensive Tar Remover. It's brilliant stuff. And it gets rid of all that tar that congregates around your quarters and your wings all around the bottom of your doors comes off the road obviously and uh, takes it straight off so this is a great example of the bits i'm talking about you can see obviously on the body kit there there's uh, nasty bits and you can see like all these black dots here um this is all tar and obviously you can only see it when you're up close but you want all that out of the paint, especially before you compound it. So it's a thick bit like that, you need to get it nice and wet. Couple of rubs over the top, bang. There you go, rub straight off. And it's the same for these little black dots that are all in your paint. You just uh, literally you can just rub them straight off. So I'm gonna start off by compounding this quarter. You can see the nasty stuff that's in the paint. It's uh, all these marks in the black marks and uh they're not scratches they're not deep they uh you can feel them they're not in you can't feel them at all with you now so i'm just going to compound them lot out and uh show you what it looks like so you don't need much of that stuff this compound literally 
couple of little dots, the pad's already wet anyway. So I literally, that's all I really use. You can use even less than that. Um, I normally have it on like setting five. Don't use any pressure. So that's that section there cut back. You can see now, absolutely flawless that paint. Took all that mark out of it. Absolutely no scratches at all. And you can hear the paint. That's with obviously no polish or wax, just pure compound. So just rub it over with microfiber and let's just do the rest of the corner. So I've done the whole side of the car now and it's looking really good. So coming up really nice. You can see the paint. It's hard to obviously show you because white paint is very hard to see but you can see there's no swells all the paint is like flawless now sure you can see that so um yeah obviously i'm gonna go around the rest of the car so i'm gonna take the rear spoiler off because underneath the spoiler there's a load of uh nasty stuff that's accumulated you can see there and i'm never gonna be able to get to that so i'm gonna remove this now get on with doing the rest of the car so that spoiler hasn't been off for a while you obviously just removed it Usual thing, that one snapped, so I had to drill that one out. And these ones, they weren't even attached. So it was only really attached by this eight mil one in the middle. And then this one up here, which actually come out all right, which is uh, a result. And I just need to put some grommets in this one so I can drill the bottom half on. Let's give that boot a little clean up. So this is where that tire remover really comes into play. Obviously we had, we've got a bung in there now, but we had some tape over it. So we've got some residue under there. Couldn't get to it because obviously the spoiler was there. This uh, tire remover really, really gets even the most stubborn stuff off. That's been baked on over the summer and it's still removing it. So I won't bore you with doing it. So I'll uh, get on with doing that. You can see now I've cleaned all the grime off. Why I had to get that spoiler off. I couldn't get to under here with the spoiler on. You see all the contaminants in the paint, really got good rid of that. Um, the car looks actually pretty good with that spoiler, because you know it's an RS, so you know it ain't a replica, but... Yeah, can't wait to get the 90 spec on there. I'll tell you what, this Auto Finesse Clay Lube, um, Glide it's called, probably smells like blackcurrant. Uh, really smells nice, but you can see, like, just have a couple of rubs over there, so we can show you. This, uh, this built hammer clay is really, really, really good. It's one of the best I've used. I use Meguiar's normally, but um, I'll probably be switching over to this. You see how it uh, gets even the most stubborn contaminants out of the paint. So yeah, you can, obviously that was where it was all uh, contaminated, and I've just got to go over the rest of it. So I've just clay barred everything, even the bumper. The bumper had nasty bits of rust in it, so um, yeah, let's get compounding. Right, so this side's been clay barred as well, so it's nice and smooth. Obviously, you can see how shiny the bonnet looks. I ain't even got no polish on it yet, but look at that. So that's how well the, uh, the compound brings up the paintwork with a DA polisher. So if you don't be afraid to do it yourself. Um, the compound Meguiar stuff is not a hard cut. It's not like using a G3 um, paint buffing compound. Yeah, so we're going to get onto this side part now and get uh, exactly the same on this. And so obviously the paint, it's uh, very dull compared to the other side. The other side's looking lovely now. So that's the paintwork, we're gonna hell a lot better. 
So um, yeah, we're gonna get on to polishing it now. And even though I've got a ton of different polishes, um, this and this are still my favorite. Now I've got all the poor boys, all the fancy ones you can get, but these two are still my favorite. This probably just edges it. This is a bit powdery, but um, I really, really like this Ultimate Meguiar's polish. If you ain't tried it, give it a try. Um, and I'm gonna use a soft medium pad now, um, switching over from the hard pad to polish it up. So I've done one pass with the, the polish and the sun come out. It's been a gloomy day. Well, it's half come out, as you can see. So you, you can see the standard um, orange peel that's in the paint. Obviously, we don't wanna cut that back anyway, but look how nice after one pass with the ultimate polish. You can see how straight the car is, obviously. And uh, you're gonna try and get all the whole car like this. This is pre-wax as well. So literally, DA, soft medium pad on this one. And I'm just going over it with the ultimate polish. So yeah, give it a try. So it's a good um, setup that I've found to work really well. I've, I've used tons and tons. And remember, I'm no detailer. I mean, there's all these fancy ones. I've got poor boys, I've got old black hole and all that lot, but you can't beat the old school. The only thing that's, uh, that bothers me about this one is it gets a bit um, dry and dusty. So you have to give it a bit more of a polish. And we ain't polishing black cars. So, you know, you ain't gonna see every imperfection, which is good. And, uh, but white cars, they're a lot harder to see the shine on it. Same with silver cars, but you can see how nice that's coming out. So the wax I'm gonna use to go on top of the polish when it's finished is uh, Auto Finesse Radiance. It's a carnival wax. Um, I really like carnival waxes. It, obviously it's a natural wax and it creates a nice hard shell. I don't really get on with synthetic waxes that much. Uh, I like to spend a little bit more money and get a proper carnival wax. And we're obviously gonna use um, a microfiber applicator as well. These are auto finesse applicators as well. They're really, really good. Obviously really nice and soft. So if you're looking for cheap microfibers, um, if you've got a Costco as a can, use these. I mean, you get, how many is it? 36 in a pack. I think it's like 18 quid. And all I do is I just use them once and then I, I rip off this tag so I don't scratch up the paint. I use them once, then I use them as rags and they're so cheap, 36 towels for like 18 quid. I mean, the top quality Meguiar's one's gonna cost you a tenner, 12 quid on its own. So it's better to just buy a big pack of these and use it for drying the cars as well. Wow, now look at that. That's a coat of carnival wax on that. Look how shiny that come up. So now, I'm gonna finish off the rest of the body like it. It's gonna cut up beautiful. So you can see how much better that looks now already. What a world of difference. Worth putting a bit of time and effort in. Get your paintwork up. You see the state of it when we started. You're literally like a mirror now. No idea why auto finesse stuff smells so good. This uh, carnival wax, I don't know what they put in it, but it smells so good. You can even eat this stuff because obviously it's pure carnival, but I wouldn't recommend it. So this is the wax test. Just a bit of water. Look at that. Bit of all the water, I don't even need drying it. Amazing stuff. So yeah, I'm really happy with this combo. That's how quick it uh, runs off the paint. Makes it so much easier when you're washing it, especially uh, after it gets grimy. So check this out. So in the 30 years, obviously this car's been about and it's still got the original locking petrol cap. So you can see it's genuine fold one and it still fits the ignition key. So in 30 years, no one's lost it. That's pretty amazing. So that's the final coat of wax. Put two coats on it, even polished up the tailpipe. The old Scorpion. This is a funny one. So this bumper, the exhaust sits perfect where it's supposed to sit, but the previous owners um, decided because they fit the exhaust wonky, they'd just make a cut out in the rear bumper for the exhaust that was wonky instead of moving the exhaust to a proper place. Like it's just, kind of bodges you get. So I've even polished up these rear lights. Um, they're hard to get now, the smoke lights, genuine ones. So I wanted to get a quick video before the sun went down, because the sun started to set now. Gonna uh, put the car back together, obviously put the spoiler and that back on it. Um, show you the paint down the side. It's like a mirror now. So 
So even on white paint, you can get it up lovely and shiny. Loads of protection on there now. So that's the car finished. Just got to put the spoiler back on. If you want to know how long it takes to do this sort of thing, it's about, I don't know, six to eight hours, I think I've spent on it now. You might notice that I didn't touch that front bumper. That's because it's nasty. I hate it. 88 spec bumper is disgusting. Uh, so I want to get the new one on it. So there's no point touching that. It's not really, I can't really get you a picture of the shine now. You can see how reflective it is. 